window to viewport transformation. So, in our discussion, we shall define what is a window and what is a viewport. So, now at first, we are going for the respective example. So, by defining a closed boundary or window, the enclosed portion of a world coordinate scene is clipped against the window boundary and the data of the clipped portion is extracted for mapping to a separately defined region known as a viewport. So, while window selects a part of the scene, viewport displays the selected part at desired location of our display area. So, here we are having one world coordinate scene, so many objects are there, here we are defining one window. So, that portion of the objects which are falling in this window boundary, so they will remain in the window and rest part will be clipped. So, they will not be considered within the window. So, now this window, this window boundary will become a viewport and this viewport, you can drag this particular viewport from different portion of the screen, you can do this, do some scaling on it and that is our viewport. So, we can do some processing using this viewport. So, this is our window and this is our viewport. So, that is why while window selects a part of the scene, viewport displayed the selected part at desired location on the display area. So, now consider we are having this x w mean x w max w stands for window x that is along the x axis. So, x w mean x w max y w mean y w max here we are having x v mean x v max because it is our viewport and here we are having this y v mean and y v max here. So, this is the respective point we are considering here with the coordinate x w y w and the same point has got the coordinate x v and y v. So, window in the object space and viewport in the device space. So, to maintain the same relative placement of the point in the viewport as in the window, we are going to write this respective expressions, these equations. So, x v minus x v min. So, this is our x v minus x v min x v max minus x v min. So, x v max minus x v min. So, this ratio will be same as x w minus x w min and x w max minus x w min. So, that is our x w minus x w min and x w max minus x w min. So, we can write the same thing for the y coordinate also. So, these two equations we are getting. We have repeated these two equations again for your cross check. So, now you can find that that x v is equal to. So, now if I consider only this x v. So, this part will be going here and x v mean the minus x v mean will be coming here as plus x v mean. So, it will be coming like this x v mean plus this expression. Similarly, you can also do with y v. So, if we consider S x that is the respective scaling along the x, if you consider this ratio and S y, if you consider this ratio, then these two expressions, these two equations will have the final form like this one. So, in this video, we got this idea what is window in the object space and what is view and viewport in the device space. Thanks for watching this video.